In this video, I'm going to talk about the basics of how to use a GPS unit. So for the lab this week, you're going to be using a Garmin, and it's going to be a CS64 or a 64S or a 64S. There's a few different variations, but they all basically look like this, and they all have very similar functionality. Uh, so everything I'm going to say right now, there could be a couple little things that are different, but it should be pretty close. Uh, the first thing is that to turn the unit on, you're going to hold down this power button. And when you do, that kind of fires it up. It takes a second here uh, to get going. While that's going, I'll just point out that uh, the main way to navigate this unit is to use the page button to get in and out of the main menu. And then uh, when you want to select something, you hit enter. If you want to quit something or if you want to hit, you think of it like uh, exit or escape button, that's the quit button. Uh, so enter and quit are very important. All right, so the first thing is you want to hit start by hitting this page button. And when you do, it's going to scroll through four or five different menu options. Compass, trip computer, this one's got elevation, main menu, and map. Um, the main thing we're going to do is go to the main menu. That's where most of the features are stored. Uh, and the very first thing we want to do is to check our datum. Uh, and that's the coordinate grid system. So in the main menu, you're going to scroll down to this little icon. Uh, setup. Oh, where'd it go? I'm going to hit enter. And then once you're in setup, you're gonna go down to position format. And that's this little spherical shape. And again, on different units, uh, it might be in a different, there might be a different number of these options, uh, but it will look like that and it'll say position format. I'm gonna hit enter. And then here we can see that right now I'm in uh, degrees and decimal minutes. So I wanna change that I'm going to hit enter and then it gives me all these options and I'm going to use this little arrow pad to scroll until I find UTM UPS and I'm going to hit enter. And then I'm going to go down to the next thing. WGS 84 is pretty close to NAD 83, but for this exercise, um, I'm going to hit, okay, ignore that. I'm going to hit uh, NAD 83. So these are alphabetical. Let's go up to NAD83. There it is. I passed it. Oh no. Okay, NAD83, enter. Uh, okay, so now that those are set, I'm going to hit quit. And I'm going to go back to the main uh, menu by hitting page. Okay, so I've got that set. The other thing we wanna do is make sure that our track manager uh, is cleared. So I can look at this one, there are no archive tracks. Um, but so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit save track. And what that does um, is it will start, um, it'll start uh, tracking uh, the movements of this GPS unit. And this is going to be important for the lab exercise today. Um, now, if I want to clear the track, because it's the start of the lab exercise, then I'm going to go down to clear current track and hit enter. And it's going to say, are you sure you're going to delete everything? Yes, I'm absolutely sure. Now, when I hit current track, uh, it's not showing anything. No tracks have been archived, okay. Uh, I'll go back up to current track. Well, it's not logging anything because I'm not outside. Okay, so once you've got that going, so you started tracking, uh, then you can start navigating to waypoints. Now, a quick and dirty way to do this is to, again, go to the main menu hit enter, and we can go down and look at the satellites page. So in the main menu, we're gonna to go to satellite, 
It's this little icon that looks like a satellite. I'm going to hit enter and that's going to tell me where what the satellites are that this is picking up. Now this unit, again, I'm inside, so it's not picking any up. This other one I've got sitting in the window. I've, it's been sitting in the window. So real quick, you can see all the satellites and all their signals. It's gonna start to decay really quickly. So I'm losing my signal. Um, but you can see at the top here, it shows the, the UTM grid system. So I've got my easting and my northing. Um, so one way to navigate would be to just walk around and watch those numbers change every time you walk a meter north. Um, this last digit will change or a meter east or west, the last digit will change. Um, that's a tortuous way to find something. The, the better way to find something is to hit mark. Um, and that will take me into a new waypoint. It automatically does. Uh, so then I'm going to use this arrow pad to go up and change the name of it. Uh, I'm going to hit OK on that. So I can change the name. Uh, it's going to give me this little typewriter. And again, I've got to use this very tortuous uh, arrow pad, but I can name it A and then scroll over to the B and hit enter. Scroll over to the C and hit enter. And I've changed the name to ABC. When I'm done, I can go down to the bottom and hit done, and you can see that it's edited that name. I can do the same thing for the coordinates. I go down to that box, I hit enter, and then I scroll over uh, using this arrow. I'm going to hit enter, enter. Let's say I just want to change that 7 to a 5. I want to go 200 meters uh, to, the, to the south. I'm just going to go to the 7. And then I'm going to scroll from this arrow over to the 5. And I'm going to hit enter. And that just changed that 7 to a 5. When I'm done, I'll go to the bottom, hit enter. And then once I have my coordinates correct, I'll go down and hit done. Uh, now, if I go to find, that's a new button over here on the left, that'll take me to my waypoints page. Another way to do this would just be to go to the uh, main menu. And then we see this waypoint manager. So hitting find automatically takes me to the waypoint manager. When I get in there, it gives me all these different waypoints. These are previously saved. So I've been out walking around campus. I'm going to go down to ABC. That's the one that I just edited. And I'm going to hit enter. And then it brings up all that information and I can hit go. So I'm going to hit go. And now uh, on my map page, it shows my location and it shows the direction to that, that waypoint. I can uh, look at this a couple different ways. I can go to my compass. And if I'm moving, this compass will update. Right now it doesn't have any satellites, so I'm gonna shove it in the window again for a second. Uh, once it gets a signal, it'll show this little arrow and it'll tell me the distance that I need to travel to get to that waypoint and the time according to my current speed. Uh, another way is to look at the computer. This gives a bunch of stats on your current status um, or again that map console okay so we'll navigate to a bunch of waypoints for this lab exercise and then at the end you're going to need to save that track so again once you visit uh, these nine or ten different waypoints you're going to go to page uh, and the main menu and then you're going to go to your track manager and now we've got uh, the current track. Okay, so I can hit enter. And because I cleared it at the beginning of the exercise, now when I hit save, it's just going to have everything uh, from when I started the lab exercise till the end. Uh, so it's giving me this name, but I again, I can edit that name. I can make it A, B, C, D, E, F, G. 
And then I'm going to go down and hit done. There's the done and I'll hit enter. So the current track is saved and there's the name. Um, and then I'm going to clear the, that data. So instead of continuing to, to copy over that track, I'll now start a brand new track from fresh. Now, if I want to see that track, I can go down and scroll to it, hit enter, and then I can view it on the map. And there's that track. Now, in this case, it's just kind of a blob that's been moving around because the satellites don't have very good uh, accuracy in my office. Uh, but at the end of the lab exercise, you'll have this nice, tidy little bubble. Okay. Uh, well, that's about it. Uh, let me know if you have questions. And uh, that's the basic GPS unit.